guys, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My name is Michelle and my sister Shell and I welcome or welcome you back to our channel. We're always so excited that you show up and you watch our videos and support our channel. So I just want to give you a great big thank you to each one of you for that. Today's video, I actually had something different planned, but because we had some tornadoes come through our area last night, and that really cut down on me being able to produce the video that I had planned, but I wanted to share with you today um, just how you can take things in your home and switch them around to make it look like new decor. And by doing that, it creates a different look. So you don't always have to go spend money to create something new. I have still some Easter up in my home, so I'm gonna take that down and I'm gonna take things from other parts of my home to replace that with. And I can't wait to share with you how that all comes together. But I would like to take this moment before we get started just to ask you, if you wouldn't mind, to say a prayer for our state of Oklahoma and all those who've been affected by this, these storms. Okay, to get started, I kind of want to share with you what I have to work with. So I've got some Easter over here on my china cabinet, and I also have some on my little filing cabinet. So that's what I want to work on today, and I want to show you how you can take simple things to change it around. Now I've taken down the things that I didn't want, some of the Easter. I took down uh, the top tier of this three-tiered tray that I made out of some cake plates. And let me show you how I'm gonna change this to make this fit in to my spring decor. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna take this thrifted piece that I found at the thrift store. I paid, I think, like $2.99 for it, so it was $3. And I know it's more probably used for dessert or cake plate or something like that, but I'm actually gonna use it as kind of like a three-tier tray and as a cloche. So I've got this old pottery little creamer that I think is just beautiful. I love that it's it's kind of tarnished and it's, or, or not tarnished, but stained and crazed and I just think that's so beautiful. And I'm just gonna stick in some little book pages. That's kind of my theme for this season, I'm guessing I'm using it in every which way. But I've stuck a couple of those little pages that I've kind of folded up inside and I'm gonna place this old millinery flower that I have uh, to the top. And that's basically all I'm gonna do. I think it's pretty, I think it's simple and beautiful. Okay, let's move down to the second shelf. And again, these are things that I had on the tray previously, but I'm gonna use them just a little bit different. I'm gonna stick this little, I think it was probably like a toothpick holder, but I think it's super cute. I'm just gonna set it up there as well. And then I'm gonna add this other old millinery flower. I'm really loving this peachy color in this flower. So I'm gonna add that, and I'm gonna carry that same color throughout by adding um, just these simple like thread and ribbon in this other pottery piece. And I'm gonna add that to the bottom. And that's I think all I'm gonna do right here. So moving over to this other little cabinet, I, I had that bird nest which I took out and I'm just gonna put these moss stones in there. I think they're pretty. I really like incorporating the green. And then to make this feel more cohesive, I'm just gonna add some of this paper shred that I made from the old books and stick them in these two small creamers that I have. It's just carrying that look throughout my little display. And I think I'm gonna add just another moss stone to the bottom just to kind of bring it together. Now I have these old depression glass, uh, green depression glass glasses. I'll get it right in a minute. I think they're so pretty. And I'm gonna add them to this display because I'm loving this white and green theme that I've kind of started earlier over in the other corner in my dining room. So I'm gonna carry it over to this side of my room by just incorporating these green glasses and you can see how it really makes this display pop.
Okay, I think the last thing I'm going to do is add this fern into this other creamer that's tying in the green just a little bit more, and I think it's really pretty. So you can see just by taking things and using them in a different way or changing it up just a little can really give you a fresh, clean look. And I think that's what I've achieved over here on this cabinet. I'm loving it. I love that I haven't changed it so much, but I've definitely taken down the Easter and incorporating more things that represent spring. Okay, this is the next area over here that I think I want to change up. I like it, but let's clear it off. And you can see I've taken everything off. I'm going to leave everything the same on my buffet. I'm really enjoying this area. I love these faux flowers. So I'm going to leave that right there. But let's change this. So I think what I'm going to do is go over into my living room and grab the cloche that holds the bunny on my antique trunk and I'm going to move that on top of this old filing cabinet. Okay, here it is, but I think I'm going to change this bunny out. I like this rabbit, but it it feels a little like Easter to me. So I'm going to change him. I'm going to yank him out. I'm going to put in my white bunnies that I got from Target. And I think this simplifies the look and ties in this white and green that I have throughout this dining room. So let's add this and see what it looks like. I'm loving this look so you guys will have to tell me what you think do you like this look do you think I've changed it enough I just think that you can just change your home around so easily just by moving decor from one room to another and incorporating it in different ways I hope this will inspire you to do that in your home Thank you so much for being here. Before I go, I want to leave you with this beautiful Bible verse. It says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 19. Guys, do you know that anything we do for our Father must begin and end with His power and His presence? And we ask ourselves, how do we tap into that? The key is through our brokenness. So if you're feeling weak and ineffective today, rejoice because you're in the perfect position for God to pour his favor into you and to work in miraculous ways through you. I hope that will encourage you today and be a blessing as much as it is to me. Guys, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you and we look forward to seeing the next one. Bye guys.